Sacrament Podcast, number 20, and yeah, your baby mama. All right, what is going on, people? I have to, again, fix this because it simply did not want to. Uh, freaking Geico commercial. Yeah. I think it's something only you can stop, right? Like, I can't stop those commercials from happening. I don't really know. Let me uh, let me focus real quick. What well, we got? Twitch chat. Oh. You, yeah, you can't pre-stop. Uh, you can't stop pre-rolls. The only way to really counter that delay is, well, if the member is only start, wait 30 seconds before you play the video. Oh yeah, I guess that works. It's time. That'll work. My bad. I forgot about that. Um. Switch I that. do not confirm nor deny that AdBlock stops pre-rolls on Twitch TV. I did not say that. <laughs> I have AdBlock. Well, no, I don't have it on Chrome. Chrome has AdBlocks put into it, right? Well, Chrome's basic ones don't block it, but Chrome has on their Chrome store an ad block, and it's like the second most downloaded add-on for all of Chrome. I bet. <laughs> so, might one look it up? Up to you? Maybe. I don't know. We'll get around to it eventually. Okay. So, there we go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the... I got so much stuff over here. Why? This is just... I don't even... I'm going to have to find out what to do with this stuff. <clears throat> I say so much stuff, it's like 12 fucking pieces of paper. So last week, uh, we talked about open world raid bosses. And, um, yeah. So, more discussion on that as we as we go through time. Because that is a very, 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 very sound discussion that we need to have. Because it means that we are going to... I mean, honestly, we'll probably just wind up pulling some of the mechanics from other stuff that we've already created uh because let's be let's be real here creating a thousand different mechanics is probably unlikely so anyway yeah. <laughs> let's be honest for a moment we, now the combinations of them right i was just about to say we can make them unique by the way they blend with each other um because your abilities will have a chance to blend in and create unique effects so uh, anyways, so we talked about that last week. This week, um, honestly, up until about an hour ago, I had no freaking clue what the hell we were going to talk about. Uh, <laughs> but And that's only because we've been so busy. I think I had like two ideas for discussion this week and just completely forgot to write them down. Usually I'll write them down um, while I'm while I'm brainstorming shit with, uh, mm -hmm. with Crave and Adora, and I just didn't do that. So at least you You're both... Welcome sound almost similar in volume i don't know if that's an insult or not i'm just kidding i'm kidding i know it's all right moving on so yeah um yeah all right so let's get to our, our discussion point right um also I, I guess i guess i'll say this up front we might be switching this up to uh to bi-weekly every other week as opposed to every week we've got some new things coming down the pipe uh one that could take up the the every other week slot there that and I'm I'm running out of shit to talk about right, right now. Running out of stuff to talk about. So to be completely honest. Yeah. So as of right <laughs> now, and I'd rather have. Well, it makes sense. Instead of two short casts, if we have an extra long cast every other week, that's easier to deal with. And our our German compatriots don't have to uh, wake up every single yeah. Friday morning and then go back to sleep. Now they can do it every other. So there's yeah. that. Um. Hudika. Uh, discussion point. All right. So I'm going to ask the question and I'm, I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. But the question is, what unique class systems would you like, do you want to see or or have seen in other games? They don't have to be MMOs. They can be any damn game um, that you would like to see within Sacrament. 
And what I mean by unique class system is, for instance, our Bard. Let me pull this doc up. Our Bard has a very, very unique class casting system, unlike any other caster. Uh, and this, this came about in the realization that we hadn't yet given the Bard what makes kind of the Bard really unique um, in, in EverQuest and other games the bard really felt like any other class uh with with this attribute missing and, and a couple other attributes so we've taken and we've kind of changed it up a little bit because we have to we no longer have six second ticks this isn't you know D, &D uh complete uh D, D virtual type game this is this is kind of a well not kind of this is supposed to be the evolution of how the gaming landscape the virtual scape changes how combat changes and stuff like that so with this <clears throat> the bard has what we are calling M channel and that's that's short for mobile channeling um, and the way it works as you can see from the from the text here is all abilities have a a soft cooldown we don't we're not utilizing hard cooldowns we're utilizing something that we're designing as soft cooldowns uh, you see it referenced here as an SDC uh, this is straight from our design document so this is why you're seeing certain things that you won't see in an actual write-up. Um, the SDC is referenced ahead as, as a soft global or the soft cooldown, and that's supposed to be SCD, not DC. I was about to say, I was like, that's the wrong order. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, we were doing backwards alphabetical because of OCD reasons. Anyway, so it was Wednesday when we wrote this, it was backwards day. Yeah, that's what it is. So, the way that the, the soft cooldown works, I think I've actually got that queued up down here. Yes, I do. So, the soft, soft cooldown, and I got it wrong here, too. What the hell? I was, this was middle of the night when day. I wrote this up, so I'm not going to change them all. Just know that when you see S... DC, it's SCD. Yeah, it's SCD. I'll, I'll adjust them. Actually, I just... You can just control F all SDC and then switch it all to SCD at the same time, but you're already halfway done. So. Fine, SDC. I'm really not. Replace with SCD. Replace all. There we go. You're it, welcome. It shows up in that document a lot more than that, trust me. All right, so. Oh, wow, there's a lot of. <laughs> <in there. laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a lot of mistakes on that. I apologize. Anyway, so. So the, the soft global cooldown, or it's not global, soft cooldown only applies to the global abilities which are originally we were going to have uh, role type abilities where they're, they're global in nature right they'll drop off mobs uh, you can get them from faction merchants you can craft them stuff like that um, they're not class specific but they're they were originally going to be role specific and we decided to give them role capabilities and to remove Sinden send it man every time every time always here <laughs> always here that's germany right there he's committed yeah that's germany i we have more commitment than i do to get up better than you <laughs> hell more committed than you are to get here every every day i'm just kidding i'm just kidding um whoa <laughs> here. somewhat late uh he he waited to take a shower until we had to start talking yeah. about this and then i just sat here crapping myself because i didn't know what the hell we we're going to talk about and he's fucking taking a shower and relaxing and shit so great. I wanted to flush his toilet. Is really what I wanted to do. So the the abilities started out as role specific, and we decided to give them role um, values to where if your role utilizes them, then you'll have based on on how your class has that role, uh, you'll you'll be able to use it as effectively as it's designed or less effectively, if at all. Um, so. Yes, I shaved. I shaved last week. It was like last <laughs> Thursday. Um, bastard, asshole. I hate you. Um, so these, we we wanted to open it up. Wanted to give it a feel where players could pick up these abilities and utilize them, even if it's not really all that effective. Like an assassin using a CC ability, for example, right? Or a heal. We'll go with a heal. So an assassin who is who is. Pretty much all DPS except four points into self-support where they're applying poison buffs, right? Um, and in Viz, the assassin can can pick up a heal and use a heal. Let's say it's a 100-point heal, right? Um, but they've got zero points in any type of healing, okay? So they're non-healers to to the, the the highest caliber. So they're all the way over in our, our far right column that says absolutely no points in this shit. So when they cast that heal. 
they only get the innate, um, I believe it's going to be 10, maybe 15%. So that 100-point heal is now just a 15-point heal. So it allows them to utilize that while they're soloing or just grouping with a buddy if they so wish to utilize it, but it's just not going to be that effective. That ability also will not generate any momentum for them. So this is, we wanted to, to take those abilities, open them up. So these abilities all have soft cooldowns on them, SCDs. The way the soft cooldown works, we all know how the typical cooldown works, right? Or a hard cooldown. Uh, you use an ability, you cannot use it again for, let's say, 10 seconds, right? Um, and it explains it in this paragraph right down here. But let's say you're in the last 5%, or you're healing a tank who just got his fucking ass pommeled, and you're going to pay for using this ability, but, you know, it's... You, you have to... Necessary. You have right, absolutely necessary. So we didn't want to restrict your ability to use the ability, but we wanted to to make you a little more strategic about it, a little more thought behind it. So we removed. You're gonna have a global cooldown. It'll probably only be 0.5 seconds. You probably won't ever see it. Um, but now, if you want to cast that, let's say you're a cleric, right? 14 points into hard healing, and it's a hundred point heal. And your tank's got, let's say, 300 points of health. And this is a very, 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 very basic rundown yeah. of our system. Absolutely very basic. Um, he's got 300 points of health. And he just got hit for 200 points of damage. And your biggest heal is a 100-point heal. So you need to heal him. Because you know that the enemy's weakest hit is, let's say, 65 or 100 points of damage, right? Or we'll call it 170 points of damage. It's the weakest hit. And if the tank misses a dodge and gets hit, by any ability, even one heal is not going to get them back up to, to big enough health to keep them alive. So you immediately, you hit that ability twice, right? So you just completely ignore the soft cooldown. So what that does is, is you get the, I believe the initial right up here suggests you get the, the same efficiency out of it, but the cost is increased, and then that cooldown is now doubled. So now you're looking at a 20 second soft cooldown on top of, or to, to go along what would have just been a 10 second. So you get the, the double cooldown, the remainder of that cooldown, plus the next ability, plus the increased cost of the, the ability itself. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's a very basic rundown on how soft cooldowns work. So, for the Bard, and that's for every class except for the Bard. We talk about unique systems. The Bard is the only class that does not have this type of a system. The Bard uses the M channeling system, uh, the mobile channeling. And what this allows the Bard to do, first it does a couple. So all abilities, let's say any ability has a, um, a timer on it, right? Let's say you're going to apply a dot that would last 30 seconds and deal X amount of damage. Or a buff that would last 30 seconds and increase efficiency by X amount. The Bards, um, all the Bard abilities, any ability the Bard touches now... They all have now a 10 second cooldown on them. The ability cost is less overall, but if they decide that they want to just channel that one ability, right? Let's say you're you're in a burn phase and you've only got one thing left to do, and that thing is now to kill this fucking boss. The bard <coughs> picks the biggest DPS at the raid, or maybe the second biggest, depending on on threat issues, and channels let's say an efficiency buff to where you know it improves efficiency by 50 percent that's a pretty big fucking number right and the bard decides he just wants to channel that ability onto that player and go and get some some hits in on on the boss with you know free right click left clicks right not the major just a couple of hits now the bard can continue to channel that reduce the cost and that ability reapplies that 10 second buff at the the every two and a half seconds or has a chance to reapply a debuff or damage or whatever the case may be oh. those types of things that can be resisted what's up no i'm listening to you and oh. someone outside was at my door is saying something Okay, so Sindon says for uh, SCD, do I understand that right? You can use the ability whenever you want, 10 times in a row, but each time will cost more resources. Cost more resources, uh, and it will obtain the new um, SCD on top of it. So you can spam an ability 10 times, maybe that depletes your entire pool, um, depending on, on how much the ability costs and whatnot. And... At the same time, now that ability has, if it's if it's got an innate 10 second cooldown on it, now it's got a 100 second cooldown on it. So that's a long time before you can get long rid of that. Time. And we're talking about 
incremental growth in cost as well. So let's say using it the first time you get a 10% increase on your your uh, ability cost. The next time that number will increase by 50%. So now instead of just a 10% increase, now it's a 15% increase. And then that increases by 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 50%. So now it's a what would that be? plus seven and a half, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 22 and a half percent increase on the ability cost. I mean, it's it's designed to give you the capability to utilize those abilities over and over, but only when you absolutely, absolutely need to because there's a penalty involved. So we Not wanted to be running around the world just spamming that one ability because you'll never be able to do anything. Yep. But and if you're out there soloing, spamming an assassinate there. ability, you're going to be hurting because you're going to be waiting a long time in between combat. There's not an out of combat regen or anything. This game is not utilizing those type of system models. Your your movement speed is your movement speed, whether you're in combat or not. Your regen is your regen, whether you're in combat or not. None of that shit matters at all. So, and now you're talking about my cat. Okay, I thought you took your cat out. I did. He opened the door. My cat's too fucking smart. He actually opens doors all the time. Yeah, there's... I mean, it seems like it's going to be a big boost for DPS classes, but that leaves them wide open. Now, keep in mind, our PvP... Uh, so you're also going to have the limited action set, so you realize you're getting rid of a button for half of a fight if you spam it too many times. Or a whole fight if you spam it too many times. Yeah, and we're not talking about abilities that are ever going to be able to one-shot another player. Yeah. None if of that shit's happening. Smash one... Roll your face a few times, and someone's gonna die. You so. right, and if we're if we're bouncing all of this correctly, an ability shouldn't take half of a single player's health ever, ever should it take half of a single player's health. That's not how this shit's designed. Um, on top of that, abilities get a reduction in their efficiency on all accounts uh, when you move into PvP. So a healing spell that heals 400 in PVE is only going to heal for. I don't know, let's say 80 or 75 in, in PvP. And the same goes with, with an ability that does damage. It's going to get hit by the same metrics. CC, support, all these things are designed, or essentially you're, you're moving over to, to an area where once you're engaged in PvP, these, these abilities function off different balancing properties. And balancing properties we've already got laid out and figured out and right now work very well. And in testing will allow us to, to adapt without any concern it's an absolutely fluid adaptation system so um it seems like they're going to get a big boost uh, the reality is if they spam it 10 times it's probably not going to be capable uh just just thinking about the way that the ability works i mean you're talking about a 50 percent increase per cost they're probably going to run out of their resources on the fourth or fifth one if they want to spam it that much honestly so Go for it and spam it in PvP, but you only did 70% of the target's health. You can't damage them do anymore. Do anything else. Right. You can't like, do anything the anymore. The biggest thing in PvP is something that's done for years, time and management is important, not how fast you kill them. Right. And a lot so, of games, I feel like a lot of games, they build PvP to be the guy that gets the drop, right? It's a, it's a two-hit quick, two-second fight. We're going back to classic PvP. Uh, EQ1 style, WoW style PvP, Final Fantasy I don't know if Final Fantasy XI had PvP uh, no. but those style of PvP, EQ2, where your fight could last 10 fucking minutes if you're one on one that shit could last 10 minutes, we're not talking about 2 or 3 hits, we're That's talking about a sustained fight, that. that happened a lot right. people would just quit and leave yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like walk away. <laughs> especially if you're fighting a healer that can't do damage but keeps themselves alive and then they'll they'll wait until they're at like 20% when you get all excited and then burn their shit uh, man, those those fights right there were, were horrible, but yeah so, we're no PvP or no DPS should have the ability to just walk up on somebody and one shot them or two shot them or five shot them to be perfectly fucking honest with you. That shit should never be a part of the game. That is not a balanced system. In and of itself, forget about if other classes could do it too. That in and of itself is not, there's no skill involved. Oh, you're skilled because you were trickier to me? Because I was looking that way when I just looked that way and nobody was there and now all of a sudden you're there? That's not skill. There's no fucking skill in that. Not at all. So, we're not using that system. But, so anyway, so... <clears throat> it wasn't that terrible. Original, to... original PvP in EQ1 was terrible. Original PvP in EQ1. But, keep in mind, the game wasn't built for PvP. They just threw it in because people it's wanted sort of to see it. sort of put it in there. Yeah. So. People just wanted to see it. So, there's... 
there were plenty of decent changes and still some really broken shit. Okay, the PvP in EQ2 was perfectly fine. The best That's of the best fights were absolutely fucking amazing in, in EQ1. I'll tell you that right now. Um, when you were when you were putting a pit in a class against itself, fucking Bard, best of the best. Holy shit! Not Bard, Rogue, best of the best. Talk about some of the best fucking PVP in the game. Holy shit! But Ranger arrows could track you behind walls, even if they couldn't see you before they pulled the the arrow. That was kind of bullshit. So Aeon clerics were broken as shit. That is a horrible representation <laughs> of PVP. They are retarded. Oh man, Aeon. Ugh. Aeon clerics are the exact like never do this in a video game class. We do have a file of never do this, so we <laughs> I'm pretty sure Aeon clerics are in there as well. We do have that like, file. Believe me, we actually have, uh, and I'll show you guys this one day well down the road. But we have a um a commandments list of things that we will never do and things that we will <laughs> definitely make sure that we do. Uh, one of the things on there is um, remaining open and honest at all costs, even if it might hurt us. Uh, that is an absolute commandment. Uh, another thing is to release a game that's broken just because we need to release it. Oh, uh, that shit's never fucking happening. So, and when I say broken, I don't mean minor fucking bugs and shit. I'm talking about an actual broken game. So, there will always be a bugs in video game. I always that, that wine because there's bugs. There's always going to be a bug. I would, yes, Dark Age of Camelot was an excellent PvP system. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Agreed. We're we're really pushing towards a system like that. I like Shadowbane's like that. Shadow Never did Shadowbane, don't know anything about it. Um, it was a lot more hardcore. Okay. Was. Yeah. Uh, see, and that's, that's one of the, never mind, we're not getting back into that topic. Okay, so anyway, so the question is, what unique class system do you want to see? Uh, and this, the bard casting, is is what I'm talking about here. And I know Steel Deal, if he's listening, if he's here, he's probably thinking, ah, Dark Knights or Death Knights should be able to um to to drain or or sap health for every time they deal damage. You can see that, right, Steel? Love you, bro. Uh, still here. Steve no, refused to Rickroll the the podcast. I don't know what the hell that means. Steel is here. You Steel should be. Here. Is? Well, I know what Rick Rolly is, but what? It, like, were you gonna I'll provide know. a link to the, the podcast? The question is, I'll know how he was gonna Rick Roll us. Oh, Lay is not muted. That's how you could have Rick Rolled us. Oh, Sound you didn't. Microphone you muted. Because you're an you asshole. Have. I got it. I got you. Well, I got you. I'm an asshole. Not you, Steve. Oh, I was like, what Steve's the fuck did asshole. I do? There's just a lot of people lurking. Sending. Chat so slow. I thought you would speed it up. What do you mean? I don't know what he means. All right. So that's that. Uh, that that forum will be up, or that post will be up on the forums. If you've got anything, and I'll I'll probably leave a reminder for that one because that's that's a good one. And there's a lot of games that we haven't seen where there are effective yeah. systems that are really brilliant systems. So it's something that's probably gonna have to stay up almost as long as World Bosses, honestly. Uh, well, they're all gonna stay up for a long time, oh, yeah. so. And then our other conversation is actually just a reminder on primary resource names. Um, so we we put this out there a little bit ago. This it's something such that. A confusing for people. What's that? I said this is just such a confusing thing for people. It seems like. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what I mean by primary resource names? So we have five roles, right? And they all have a resource, something that they use to to cast, right? Like a priest would use something like faith. Okay. Um, a uh, mage would use mana or magic or whatever the case may be. Um, but the the other stuff isn't really, it doesn't really stand out, right? Those two are pretty easy. But we, we could absolutely apply those those names to their primary resource. Um, but <sighs> Craven Adora wanted different, different resource names for all five roles. So we're putting it out there. Yeah, and I said, I don't know how to... Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You, you would have been an ass for Rick Rolling, but you're still an ass. Um, yeah. In all situations, just like me. Don't 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 deny it. Don't fight it. Just go with it. Um, <laughs> the part of who you are, embrace it. <laughs> exactly. Don't 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 deny the dark side in you, Steve. Okay. <laughs> We're looking for for ideas uh, as far as the names of the primary resource. And it's really more of a UI element than anything else because the primary resources are all going to be balanced the exact the same. same thing. So, um, 
Yeah, that's... Be creative. Don't say rage. Shit like that. <laughs> we know about those. Yeah. Rage is... <laughs> for me, rage is kind of corny. It, uh, it, and I told Crave... I'd well, rather use hate. It's just a better word, in my opinion. Yeah, but even hate... Oh, it's tanks corny, generate but it's a better word than rage. Hate slash threat. And, it, you know, it depends on how the system's going to wind up going. But um, tanks generate hate. So you don't really use... I mean, I guess you could use it as the, the name of the system, but... HP, mana, and endurance, not more. Problem is, is like well, so a take, skillful person doesn't use magic to empower their skills. Right. So take mana, right? And this, I'm with you on, on this, Sindon. I would rather every single class have HP, mana, endurance, and that's I it. I would too. And, but, but Crave wanted each role really? to have a different middle name for mana. So, yeah. so HP and endurance are flat. That shit's not changing. Yeah, and... Uh, typically, I would just call that. Uh, right now, what I'm calling it is just I'm referring to it as primary resource, because look, I tried a single name. Crave doesn't want to do a single name. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a poll up there to see if you <laughs> give a fuck that there are multiple yeah, names for this shit. That's the thing. I don't give a living shit. You because I don't give a shit. Something stupid. As long as I know what it does, right. I don't care what. Call it, man. It. I'm probably gonna call it mana. <laughs> exactly, and that was or one of my arguments. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter what role. I pick up a bard, and I I'm running out of mana, and I'm saying low on mana. I'm not saying low on hate or low yeah. on consistency or. Said, like, or I'm, I'm not gonna. I will if I hear a healer to go. I'm low on faith. I'm a slap a bitch. Like you're low on mana. Because nobody knows who the fuck sorry. that means. You in the middle of a raid, you hear somebody shout out low on faith. Yeah. Bitch, what? Oh, yeah. O O F. What? It's, it's one of those things. Oof. Years and years and years. That's not something that's. Why change it? Like people are gonna scream "Law and Faith," and people aren't gonna know what that is. But everyone knows what mana is. <laughs> Low on consistency. I'm Low telling you, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh man. Okay, so. And just ready to throw the gauntlet down. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I bond with with German folk, man. We 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 all angry. Just natural state of of consistent angriness. Engine, can you send me some schnitzel? I'll I'll step up for you if you do. Don't send don't send him any schnitzel. Shit. <laughs> he doesn't need more schnitzel. Okay, he gets enough. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So that's that. <clears throat> if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. If we ha, ah, if we see uh, any anything while i'm giving my outro spiel we are working on, on making these a little faster like i said so yeah <laughs> i'll give you my team speak information you can in your room temp beer what honestly that doesn't bother me oh oh the we what are we talking we talking about just beer in general being room temp or are we talking about guinness because if you should talk in guinness and that's irish i'm gonna stab you in the nuts with with this screwdriver, all right. So I can't. I actually can't say that on Teamspeak. I, I don't drink Twitch. Guinness. I don't, I don't think. know what Knight's problem is. I don't know. I've seen that Canadian flick. Okay, what's it called? Like Hard Brew or some shit like that. Yeah, Hard Brew. I think is what it's called. I, I've seen. I've seen that Canadian flick. I'd, I'd have to to go. I've never seen a German beer flick ever. So. No, night. Uh, Germans don't chill their beer. Like it'll be naturally cold, but they don't ice it or put it in mugs or anything. You know, if they don't have such a long ass um, from the end of production to the the beginning of of us actually u- using or consuming, they don't need to chill the beer. The only reason we chill our beer is to give its its life longevity while it sits on the fucking pallets and shit. Or bring back a little longevity um, as we fucking cool it off before we drink it. <laughs> Otherwise, it would taste absolutely horrible, and that's that's an American issue. That's yeah. Like, more than I anything. personally like. I don't like strange brew, beer, but I don't like chilled beer. So strange brew. That was a great fucking. Movie. It's my first Canadian Canadian movie I saw, and now every time <laughs> I run across a Canadian, I tell them I know all about them because of that movie, and they get so pissed. Because so. of that movie, yeah. beer fest is not <clears throat> enlightening in any form of any way. Oktoberfest is great though, and I'm in New England, so so it's excellent out here. All right, so 
If you like what you saw, want to see more, head on over to our Facebook and Twitter. All the links are down below. Um, like the Facebook page. Follow the Twitter page if you have a Twitter. I know a lot of people don't have Twitter and or Facebook. Uh, head on over to the website and sign up for our newsletter as well as our forums. You will have to register for our forums separate from the newsletter. <coughs> um, and then... If you have any talent in the development area, C++ especially, anything in, in character design, any of that, that type of stuff, hit us up on the volunteer forum. Again, all the links are below. Everything is down at the bottom. Do not try to go down on me while this video is live. Um, you won't like what you see. It's very small and very hairy. So It went there. <laughs> Sorry. That's it, folks. Yep. All right. So here, I'll give you... Oh, that was the wrong button. And enjoy this piece of cinematic what the fuckedness. I mean, what? <laughs>